All right. Hello. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, even if they're presented with Shadow first, it's purely because he was introduced chronologically first in like the the game's timeline. But it's best if you do Silver first. Yeah. So, yeah, that just felt like oh, Sonic saves the princess repeatedly, and then stuff happens. Mm -hmm. I I wonder if this would have like worked better. This world was devastated before I was born. A harsh, bleak place where we live in eternal darkness. Life is a struggle, and people live without hope. How did this happen? No one will answer me directly, but they always point to the flames. So someone decided to have a child during the apocalypse. There's actually theories that Silver is uh, Shadow's son or some bullshit. It's like, that's really funny. Flames. They burn away at my world, destroying everything in their path. They come from an eternal life form that we cannot truly defeat. The flames of disaster known as Iblis. Silver! Blaze, what's wrong? He's appeared again! I just <laughs> He's appeared again, huh? Yep. So I guess we're just gonna live in the... <laughs> spend some time in the apocalypse. Well, that's where Silver is from. So when, when Sonic and Shadow get teleported to the future, they get teleported to Silver's future specifically. Crisis City. To use psychokinesis, press the R1 button while near an object. You can throw items with the square button. Help the rock. Yeah, look at how fast he flies in the cutscene, and then you try him in game. He's like, oh. So like, it's like, yeah, who the whose child are you, and why? Again, why would they have you? Especially, I mean, if it, especially if they the they opens. apparently uh, didn't know who you know how any of this got started. Look, people still have needs, <laughs> even if it's the apocalypse. There's no one. Uh, there's no one around to make contraceptives. Yeah, there's no stopping the trades, unfortunately. <laughs> All the condoms could burn in the fire. <laughs> Starting off very positive, not everyone's dead. Ah! I was looking at that. Such a cool character. Why is the file a fire volcano like throwing. Because that tornado is carrying a car. <laughs> That's like a meme too. It's like that tornado is carrying a car. So Sonic says before you start running like at max speed in his stage. When you use your psychokinesis on an area with a green mark, something should I love the enemies that like decide to stand on fa like flammable boxes while breathing fire. It's like, do you have a death wish? What did he say about this pipe? Uh, can you go into the pipe? Oh. Or maybe on top, I guess.
Yeah, you know, when in doubt, little things are the problem. Yeah, it's basically so much campaign in a nutshell. Ah! My blaze. No. Oh, my super. Oh. We Can't be not go late. When it opens its mouth, that's my chance. I've got to dodge, then counter attack. Or just throw the box, don't even think about it. I think the idea for the hair is that it was supposed to look like antennas. So you could you can tell when he's using uh, his psychokinesis yeah. because they like straighten up. Just ever so slightly, though. Yeah, that's a cool detail, actually. I like that. It's that has kind of been lost over time. Like they don't really care too much about that. It's not green. It's like cyan. What was this blue box? Yeah, but like exploding in a flash. Oh, you can grab his balls as well. Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to do. Grab his balls. <laughs> Grab me by the balls. Hey, it worked for Chase that oh. one time. Do remind me of that scene because <laughs> I have I have mixed feelings about that scene. I'm like, mmm, wood. Uh, wait, where am I supposed to go? Uh, to your oh. right, I think. Uh, yeah. I don't think this is how metal works. Yeah, metal is well known for being springy. No, without being put into a string first. <laughs> Why has no one drawn from all of that scene? Because people like to pretend they're prudes and that they're morally correct, so they don't like that Ian, that scene. But we all know, we all know. It's okay. We all know what we like here. Honestly, if I had more patience, like, in especially for because like drawing comics is such a time consuming thing, I probably would draw something like that, like chasing the uh, chasing Brian stuff, maybe. We. My god, did Josh finally go to bed? It's like 2, 10 p.m. for me. <laughs> That's like 4, <laughs> it's 4 p.m. He hasn't slept, probably. Yeah, he was uh, streaming last July. night. Alright, what's your gimmick? She's actually the best side character. No, not even joking. Fire. She has a foaming attack too, I believe. 
Although she does have one attack kind of like Knuckles, where if you hold the attack button, she goes flying, so be careful. Press the X button to perform an accelerator tornado. You can jump higher than you do. Hold the square button and release to perform a spinning club. It's effective in situations with a lot of enemies. Okay, where am I supposed to go now? Uh, no, there are only three campaigns, see, and I think Cody was bullshitting earlier. <laughs> the Sonic Shadow and Silver campaign, but every character has like two like amigo characters. So Sonic has Tails on Knuckles, uh, Shadow has Rouge and Omega, and Silver has Blaze and Navy. Why are these fire enemies not, uh, what the fuck? What? Immune to fire? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's unfortunate. Leave this to me. Oh, it's four o'clock and it's fireworks time apparently. It's dog barking. Dog barking time. Wait, I always wondered about that, Cody. I. You can actually see that again. I'll have to check because I want to see that. But I've never noticed. What? What the fuck was that? Oh yeah, she can grind rails too. Which I'm not sure if Silver can. Ah, yeah, I've seen this bug a lot. They are open right now, I think. Alright, what? <laughs> Did I miss? Fun fact, Silver's cuffs were meant to be open and close. The Cyan parts are only visible when using his powers and when you can see in the game and in this game only. During the cutscenes, don't listen to me on their Toy 10 campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, Silver, so the, the cuffs and the gloves and boots. He has like a Cyan streak on them. What the fuck is this attack? If I just press the attack button, she just kind of jumps around crazily. Yeah, I think that's a holding attack, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's just worse than the homing attack, because you can't just chain them. Oh, that was close. We're, we gotta run towards the danger. I mean, because they're going there to kill it. But I thought there was no use. For him. Let's see. Oh. Like a PS gaming. Let's go. Maybe they're gonna have sex with the monster. Ooh. You wanna hold the psychokinesis button in this area 
all the, almost all the time. Because if something flies at you, at least you're gonna catch it. Because she just finally got. Off. Please. Looks like it. Am I actually supposed to kill these? Ah. I don't think so, actually. I think you might just be able to run off. Yeah, just keep moving oh, forward. Oh, oh, I see. It's down there. There you go. Really? Oh, this is the end of the stage. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Great. Like oh, that is cool. Pretty cool. He just kind of like floats. Yeah, that's he, actually his. Uh, his almost final design was the artwork for it was in that pose. I, I think that's a cute detail. <laughs> and that's actually. Let me show you, because that's actually when he was still named Venice. Which is where my name comes from. The Venny comes from Venice. Venice the Hedgehog. Yeah. Here. That was close to his final design. They changed some of the details a bit. Oh, okay. But it's okay, like... yeah, he's got the hair. Oh, he's got like the the tough of hair is yellow, and he's got like the his uh, shoes colors are different. I don't know if I can just paste. It. I guess I can paste them here, or Shabu can put it on the. Yeah, I can do that. Hang on. Uh... If you can put it on this the screen for a sec. I got a new mouse that I got to get used to. Uh, he well in the very very old version he was orange. In this beta design, his chest fur is orange. There we go. Ta da! He has more like psychic looking eyes. I share with I actually like this design <laughs> more than the final one, truth be told. I never liked the Silver's boots in particular. <laughs> I like these they, more. They kind of look like uh, these boots kind of make them look like they're uh, they're kind of sexy boots. <laughs> It doesn't look all that different, I'll you Like, you change the boots, and that's about the same, and the, the, the fruit color. Like, the gloves are the same, the head shape's the same, the eyes are mostly the same, he changed colors. Yeah, well, they... These are, like, the spiral eye, but, like, he did change color. Yeah. Like, he still has the black eyeliner, eyeliner around the eye, too. <laughs> A black eyeliner. Dark and edgy like my soul. Yeah. And save. Yeah, but they have different eyeliner. It's not extremely left out. <laughs> there you go. That's the version from the trailer. Oh, there we go. Hello there. Also on Discord, uh, it has the the red mark for the oh. image. It has like the red mark. Oh, word. I see. Boop. You can click off it. There you go. Yeah, and they both have fur. They have like chest fur and stuff. Because Sonic has like the, the peach hair, I guess. I'd still do that. This one looks so much cooler than the one that Sonic fought. It's supposed to be like different stages of evolution of the, the creature. So it turns into a snake, that's its final evolution, or it's just like further no, in the, the future. First. Yeah, this is because this is 200 years in the future, so this is more evolved. Endless. 
today it will be Honestly, his voice sounds so like teenagey. Like, Ugh, I'm gonna stop you. I mean, he's a teenager. His weak spot is the armored head. Aim for that, Silver. Okay. His weak spot is the armored head. You think that'd be yeah. the opposite? The <laughs> armored head and not that belly that's not armored. Yeah. Some of your balls into his head. I think if you just jump and throw, it should auto aim for his head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, he was moving, so. And he's dropping buildings on him. Yeah. This has actually kind of cool because you can just sort of speed run it if you just throw shit at him. Out of those two. Uh, it's called Iblis, Ian. Iblis. Which means uh, the demon in Hebrew. It's a name for the demon. Or the devil, rather. Run! <laughs> His jaw fell off. Oh, the jaw came off. That was cool. And I, it only just hit me that they were just trying to do basically Sonic Adventure again because this is literally just like chaos but fire instead of water. Because chaos is the main villain in Sonic Adventure. I think he's just like a giant water creature. Run! Yeah. I don't know why he stopped catching those. It's, if you pro that's why you hold it typically because if you press it only, you have I, to let go and then press again for the for the grabbing mechanic. I mean, oh, I, I guess his head's not his weak spot now because it's not armored. Yeah, you're right. You have to attack something else. <laughs> his armored cod piece. More that must be his weak spot. It would have made more sense if she said, aim for the head, like, that's his wish bug, or like, you have to get rid of the armor first. He does look cool without the armor, though. <laughs> Wait, did that shadow move? I think it's a shadow of the building. Yeah, but it moved. Like I was out of the out of its fall and it like followed me. Aha. Is he gonna do the thumbs up? No. Oh, come <laughs> no. on. Where did they do that that I saw? Recently. They do it in, uh, in Guild Wars, they do it. Actually, there's a boss in Guild Wars 2. It's, it's also like a golem that you fight in the lava, and when you kill him, he does that. And there's also like a duck floating in the lava for whatever reason. It's like an Easter egg. But I think, was it Hi-Fi Rush that also had the, the thumbs up? That sounds like something Hi-Fi Rush would do. That was easy. Oh no, it's also um, in, in Puss in Boots. It's a Jack Horner when he dies. He does like a thumbs down instead. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro, I can't believe it.
Can't believe you're doing this to me. That movie was so fucking good. Hi, girl. I'm pretty sure everyone here has seen it, but if you haven't, go watch Puss in Boots: uh, The Last Wish. Like, oh, I haven't, up. I haven't watched it yet. What? Chapel. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm genuinely surprised and offended. Kind I, of. I think you guys that streamed it one time, but I missed it. I think I, I caught the it end again. of it. I don't care. Looks like we yeah. it for now. I can stream it again. But it'll just rise up from its ashes again. <laughs> What's the point of all this? It'll never end. Calm down, Silver. I mean, then tell me what we should surely do. they How sealed it away somehow before, us? right? They have, I feel. You're gonna get all your questions answered. It's not a I complex story. Truth, of course. Yeah, but I mean by like with the princess's ancestors or whatever. Just as a flower comes from a seed, or yes. a chicken comes from an egg. Everything has an origin. You need to find the being originally responsible. Well, I mean, for this couldn't it, by that logic, couldn't you just go back in time and is stop it from being ever created? That is literally the plot of the game. Yes. Tell me, do you know who it is? <laughs> what is this? I'm totally a good guy, guys. I swear. Oh, this is Mephilus theme. It's, yes. Hello, uh, Whoring Tree. Yes, this is a time travel game. Yeah, what the fuck was that, like, stare and the fucking Silar that, music? That's just Mephilus. Like, that's who he is. You need to change the past. I love this guy. But that's impossible. With my help. You can, because I have the power to travel through time. <laughs> also, please remember this cutscene. Remember this cutscene. I'm going to show you something later. You must eliminate the individual who has awakened Iblis. The Iblis trigger. Why not call him by his name? You know his name. If I eliminate that guy... How do you know it's a guy? Seen? Jesus, Silver. Way to gender someone without knowing them. The day of disaster. I don't think he has a name, it's just Mephilus' theme. This was when Iblis was freed and his flames were released into the world. And you have this person to blame. There you go, just go back in time. Just do it right now. So that blue hedgehog's the ablest trigger? Blue hedgehog. Yeah, because like Blaze should know who Sonic is at this point. But this is like a different origin story for Blaze. Because Blaze's game came out in 2005, and this is 2006. Wait, all three of them go back in time? Mm-hmm. back in time just because you can do that well he does say like i do have the power to travel through time and space thing yes more like when am i please god his voice though <laughs> please yes i will entrust you with this mission I guess we all got separated. I think considering they have time powers, they would just train them. Hydrate. This is so unbelievable. She's not Blaze, that's why she's... Is that redacted or was that auto-modded? It sounds like it's probably auto-modded. Now, I must fight for the future. Okay, no, that's just Cody then, just putting asterisks then. Hmm.
The Iblis Trigger. Where is he? First, I need to gather information. Oh, so this is the hub. Of course, we're going to save. The Iblis Trigger. I don't know if I said this last stream. It just sounds like the Ableis Trigger to me. I don't know what that is. Like ableism when you insult someone. Oh, oh ableism, yeah. Yeah. The, the sounds like it sounds like an insult. Like some uh, some chud would be like, "Ooh, the ableist, the ableist trigger. Ooh, by tricking you." <laughs> the enabler. That's all I could. That's all I could think of when he says that. And of course, he's got the whiny teenage voice. Oh yeah. Uh, as Cody says, like try running through here with 50% of Sonic running speed. Ah, <sighs> uh, no, I'm good. I mean, Chapo doesn't seem to enjoy the gotta go fastness all that much. Yep. He, he takes it slow. Is this just. I was gonna say, is this just a giant empty map? Yes. <laughs> this feels so. No, at least they're walking the dog. This is just some finish, isn't it? They're just camping. Just camping in the with no structure. So that's a side mission. And there's not even anything for me to grab. Actually, can I grab? Come on. Oh. I was gonna say, can can he force choke people? Ah, uh, sadly no. That'd oh. be something a shot would do. <laughs> oh, he wouldn't use force. He just choke people. Maybe By there's force. someone else around the. Jungle. I think it's the little mission, really. We'll see. Look, I played this game in 2009, so... <laughs> all my memories of it are, like... Deleted. Ow. Yeah, it's either the blue guy with the quest, or you have to go to like the edge of the map where there's like a door into the city. There's like a bridge that leads into a door. Hey. I'm training. No, I'm good. No, no, no. Yeah, see. This doesn't make any sense. Why? What, this would be perfect for Sonic, considering how fast he is. An open field well, for him to still, run. Even he's still kind of slow in this game. He's only fast in the max speed sections. Don't worry, uh, you only brain. really go fast when you take one of the dash panels. <laughs> go over there oh. just yet. I know this just because... Yet. <laughs> Excitement. This is such an excellent hub. Like, this would make sense considering he can jump and float around. Jumping from, like, rooftop to rooftop would make more sense for this character. Oh no, he goes into the other section too. Like, Sonic has been here. It's just that you don't explore as much with Sonic. Is this where you got the that one tutorial for yeah. like, grabbing the leaves to float over water? And also the the stupid trials. Yeah. So is it not Kingdom Valley? No, Kingdom Valley is later because you do that stage with Sonic, so it's probably to get towards the end. Yeah, because that's where that's where it is over there. That eagle flies yeah. me up there. Oh, there we go. There's an. You got to go to the lake to Tropical Zonko, okay. I was walking in the woods, and but the other day I got lost and ended up in some part of the woods that looked like a jungle. Okay, yes, it's there. Lady, it's right in front of you. Lost <laughs> trying to get line. to jungle that way. When in doubt. Consult your map and radar. They should tell you exactly what, where what map and radar. Oh, well, I mean, that can decide. That's the radar. Yeah, that up there, the, the top. But there is no map. What map? Yeah. 
Maybe it's like one of the pad buttons or something, or select. Have you tried select? Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Oh yeah, this, so this is where you do all the stupid trials over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a sword down there. It might be worth checking out. Because they may have this stun move. With the money, you can shop in town. Go to the stores often to check out the new item. Power bracelet. Mm. Allows you to use grab all. This allows you to grab things within a wider range. What's the first one? Hold smash. With the money. Oh. Mm. Unless you just throw what you have. Might as well get both of them, yeah. With the money, you can shop With the money, down. what money? Go to the stores often to check out the new items. What if Silver doesn't even have a concept of money because like his world has, like, no longer has a, an economy? They're all communists instead. Oh, uh, they, they all barter. And that's how he was born. <laughs> he is a product. Uh, he does have the one that's like the shockwave. The landing shockwave. That's the only power-up that I remember for him. Oh, he's not in the shop yet. I think the other path leads, uh, leads you to the jungle. With that empty one up there? Oh, this way? No, if you go back to where you came from. Oh yeah, he was pointing, that guy was like, go that yeah. way. See, like, Silver's flying ability works so much better than Tails. Like, I'm not sure why Tails isn't as precise. Because again, if you let go of the joystick, he stops me there. Yeah, he doesn't but, drop, he just stops moving, so yeah, but but, Tails doesn't do that. Yeah, the the thing is, like, if if I let go of Tails, like, he doesn't really keep up his momentum. I can always just, like, continue that that flight, even though he, while well, he still has stamina. <laughs> so, like, yeah, here I stop and right then I can now. just, whoops, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, course correct a little and just kind of... They should tell you exactly where you need to go next. Like, I want to course correct, like, oh, I need to be a little lower. Okay, I can keep going like that. <laughs> you see the shining mark there? I wonder what it is. Might be some kind of secret. Oh. <laughs> and so it was during in excitement. Oh, so all his power-ups are mandatory. Hmm. <laughs> See where his Jesus confirmed. I mean, I guess he can walk over water, technically. But he's not walking on it. This is the mirror of Soliana. It will take you right to your destination with its magical power. Do 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 do. Based on how long I charge my psychokinesis. This level is supposed to be us looking for Blaze slash Sonic. That's supposed to make sense, but I think yeah. Blaze is in like the beach, so. Slow down. 
But even so, let's just hope this game runs. If you use your psychokinesis on the middle of the log, it will move back and forth. Use it to destroy walls and roll balls. I have to land on the log. Oh. He has a mark on it. Looks like I can use this to go up. What? This platform. You could jump in the up some. So why are these robots attacking me? They don't know who the hell I am. They're sensing the the chaos emerald power in you or whatever. Oh, what? Hey, this is against hedgehogs. <laughs> what? What? We'll, we'll take those. Yeah, sure. To be fair, uh, they're not the only ones to confuse Silver with Sonic, so it's fine. Oh, there's one of those flower things. Honestly, considering they were made by, made by Eggman, he probably did program them to just attack all hedgehogs, because knowing both Sonic, Shadow, and Amy, it's like, well, might as well just do is a the, blanket code. Is, the, is Silver a hedgehog? Yes. So, for a while, this was the last time they did it, but for a while, like, they would introduce a new hedgehog on every anniversary game. Uh, so, like, Shadow was the 10th anniversary, that was Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, Silver was the 15th anniversary. And then Classic Sonic was the 20th. So I guess technically Generations was the last one they did, not this one. This hanging ruin might be useful. I don't think there was any in the 25th, because there was no 25th game, I think? Oh, was the 25th Mania with Forces? It might have been, actually. I guess in the 25th they did add the custom avatar, so you could make your own hedgehog, so white technicality. Oh, you don't even have to throw it, it just deals damage. Yeah. <laughs> no, come back. Okay. That's an interesting thing to say. Did he just go in circles? Oh no, there you go. That's the checkpoint. That's all around you to call the turtle. To call the turtle. What? Oh man, you have to like grab something, throw it at the, tur at the fruit, and the turtle will move there. Yep. Okay, that's kind of cute. I guess. Oh, get on the log, yeah. Yes, silver. 
For having psychic power, you're not very smart. Yay, physics! They were really proud of their physics. You see, these levels seem a little more fun because they're platformers. They're actual platformers and not these weird segments. It's so methodical. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were so proud of the physics they made a whole character for it. That's exactly what it is. It's not even a joke. In fact, I think they were working... Like, this was actually ported from another game that they were working on. Like, someone was working on a game where the character had, like, psychic powers. And they used physics, and they were so happy that they said, like, we're gonna build this to a Sonic game. I think you can jump from here. Oh, I might have to get to the platform first. I going to be tempted by the one life? Yeah, I don't think it's worth the time. But if you feel like it... You're going to shoot the other arm? I think so, yes. Can you catch their arm, someone? Yeah. You can. See, like, they had fun ideas. If, the, if this was finished, this would have been fun. <laughs> Or at least cool for 2006. They just spawn new arms. <laughs> oh, you can pick him up now. Have anything else? Yep, you out of ammo. And I don't know if that enemy shoots anything at you, so. Oh, I really do not like that. The, it tries to make me jump with that. Yeah, you're supposed to be out of energy. It doesn't seem to be going all the way up. I think you have to let let it charge while it's up. Oh. Okay, just go. Yeah, see, it, that's all it does. Hmm. That's not supposed to just YOLO it. Yeah, like, at the highest point of the jump, yeah, they... No. Because <laughs> I get, like, pulled down with it. That's a little bit earlier. No, but it has to be the first upswing. Like, if you let it go down, it's gonna lose altitude. Because I think it's programmed to where if you jump off in the first upswing, it gives you, like, a weird boost. It's not realistic, but it's just how it works, I guess. Check. 
I wish I could fly higher. That's actually the uh, tail steam in Sonic Adventure too. Uh, I think it's the if you use to silver pimp slap, slap you stun enemies when you pick them up. Pimp slap? Oh, this? Yeah, the, but that's, you have to be like touching them, which means you're probably going to take damage. I don't think it's worth it. And I think you need an upgrade for that too. A tail seam. Tail theme? Oh, is that an annoying <laughs> theme? No, no, I was bringing up the lyrics. It's actually a good, pretty good song. Most character themes are actually like really good for, for what it's worth. Even big steam for what it is is good. It's kind of catchy. I don't. Ah. You just have damage on on contact, even if they're stunned. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> But it is very Sonic. If you, if you grab them, they, you lose it, so you want to always have that. The psychokinesis up if they're stunned. Let's just go near them and they pick it up. I still don't know where to go. Oh, I was hoping that would ball. do something. Um, there's a ball on top. There were two paths, we might just have to go to the other one. Hmm. I guess not. And that's where I came from. Yeah, no, you have to go to the path you were on. I think you have to do something with that giant ball on top of that. Oh, maybe break the pillar. Oh, you're yeah, right. Pillar has, like, this, yeah, the ball. I don't know if the pillar breaks, but you might be able to knock off the, the ball. It didn't break either. Or maybe you go that way, actually. Uh, yeah, go behind you. Look behind you. Yeah. The right side, Over yeah. there? Maybe? Oh, there. Mm. The silver, silver City levels are not as linear. There is a lot of like weird exploration like that. But no, it's just, it doesn't seem to be this way. Yeah, like I see the, the log, but I don't see how. Is there a spring somewhere? Because I see a spring that way. Because that's where you have to go. You have to get to that log from the top. Oh, there's a... Is that the one-up? 
Yeah, that's the one up. Okay. So maybe instead of throwing the boxes, just let them go so they land here, and then you jump on them, and then onto that. Oh, that's a little too high. I think I was supposed to come at that from like another. Yeah, you have side. to land on that from the top. But you might be if you jump, you might be able to drop the these boxes and the one that you already have set. And maybe that's high enough. Um, maybe you can kind of cheat a bit. Oh no. Yeah, I have no idea where... Where do you go? Because I see a spring there. Behind you. Is there a spring on the hole in there in the ground? No, it's just... The the, it was, it was just there. rings and the medallion. What the fuck? Okay, nope. That platform's not something I can land on. Am I actually supposed to go back? Maybe. I think maybe you just go back and take a path that gets you higher ground first. And that's just a weird detour. <laughs> Suffer. I mean, there's this. Yeah, so this is where you came from. This is rings. So if you from here if you go to the left instead. Oh, yep. Oh. That's psst, ridiculous. like two instances of coming into a checkpoint from the backside, which I you'd think it would not be able to be possible. But that's yeah. why it's just not a great level design. I think I've been collecting more of these than I have in Sonic's route. <laughs> Sonic's route, what is this, a VN? Yep. Sonic, uh, the Sonic VN. Well, wasn't the, uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog a VN? Yes. Uh, I don't think that's where you were supposed to go, buddy. Oops. Did you go backwards? What? Yeah, I was gonna say, I think the ball is just gonna fall on them. Haha! Ah. -ha. That's like 10 more meters than it should have, but hey. <laughs> we got there. D. 
the sea. That took too long. The too too long. He sasses you. Whose fault is that? If only someone could, ha one. could fly higher. Oh, are we going to get a cutscene? Most likely, yeah. Oh, this is the past. It's less on uh, less on fire than I thought it'd be. I hope Silver is okay. He's pretty insecure <laughs> when he's alone. <laughs> oh no. He's a blot on the for you to say. Trigger. Blue hedgehog. He's such a little Ooh. bitch on his own. But it's just kind of a cunt in this game, but she has one good scene. How the hell do people get up there? Listen, like, Sonic's world is not obligated to make sense to you. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> this is how they work. Technology must be really prevalent. Maybe just everyone can run that fast. Sonic Man is not. Sonic world. Yeah, Sonic yeah, Man is Sonic nothing Man. special. A blue hedgehog. Can it be true? I need to find Silver fast. Gotta go fast. Yeah, she's basically a risky in Sonic. Except with a double jump, which makes her better than Sonic. And this attack, that's actually kind of useful. Like, Blaze is the best character in the game. <laughs> oh. this time but what's the point of that if you can just walk underneath yeah <laughs> that's not an obstacle <laughs> nice try <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know. Oh, that's the orca. I like how he breaks the rocks, but not the spring. The spring stays. It's a considerate orca. Yeah, this feels surprisingly functional so far. Other than the slowdown. Well, that was fast. Okay. Isn't that like the last time you play her? <laughs> Is it the only time you play as her? I think she might have like one more section. Yeah, oh, it's the last time, okay. <laughs> I 
I finally found him. The Iblis Trigger. Now I've got you, Sonic! Ray! It's about time I finally caught you again. Oh, they are kind of close. Hey, you're not Sonic. Um, <laughs> Wait, you sorry. slap him because you gr decided to like uh, sexually assault I'm... Sonic? Huh? Hey, where'd he go? He must have run off. I'm sorry. Yeah, the one side is full close. Because of me. Uh, it's okay. I'm sure the guy I'm looking for is still on the island. I'm sure I can still find him. Well, then I'll help you. What? Why? She's just hey, nice. Just wait a second. What's your name? Silver. That's a nice name. I'm Amy Rose. It's nice to meet you. Ah, hey, wait. So it's like Amy... Is Amy, if all the Sonic characters are like superheroes, is Amy like the Batman in terms of like she doesn't have a superpower, but she's more like I don't no, know. Amy has. Amy's really strong, actually. She's she's up there. <laughs> oh, she has super strength. She's like relatively. She's pretty fast. She also like relatively strong as well. She's kind of like a Sonic and Knuckles middle point, basically. Maybe I'll talk to some people in the town. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, the joke here, you missed it because you haven't played Sonic Adventure, but um, when Amy first meets Shadow, she also confuses Shadow for Sonic, and she also like hugs him. And she was like, what the fuck, why is she doing? <laughs> so they were kind of like doing a, a repeat there. Had random Sonic sounds in the background. Hey. I'm glad you enjoy it, Ian. <laughs> yeah, Amy is freakishly strong and fast, just not as strong as Knuckles or as fast as Sonic. But she's like, she's too pretty powerful. Oh, yeah, and he can't crawl under there. <laughs> but he can like glide around, I guess. Did Sonic really head to the desert? Silver, do me a favor and help me find him first. Oh, that was different in the text. In the text, she said, yeah. help me find my target. Yeah. The forest gate? And where is that? Uh, she does have the hammer in this game. Uh, this is the worst game for Amy in the series, unfortunately. She's kind of tragic in this game. Hey. Oh, Cody says you can actually go through that hole as silver. The the one you said like oh he can crawl. Oh. Can't just walk in there. And if not, you can glide like do a U turn around the. The wall thing, the, the, like the separator wall. <laughs> and she drowned. Oh, just walking what? there for a second. Just what? Oh, what? You just clip through it. That's just this game. <laughs> Weirdly really enough, only from the outside. Uh -huh. I was hoping I could just bypass that and just fall through. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I can. Come on, clipping. Nope. Sequence breaking. Oh, the... Ah! Oh, is that so chiquita? Is it chiquita time? She need to go out. Ah, she just wants attention. <laughs> oh, they had to go to the desert, right? Um, where is the desert gate? I forgot. It's right there. It's what I'm trying to get to. 
I had to oh. apparently look for Lord Regis, who's not standing in front of the place now. Oh, okay. But he's at the forest gate, but I'm like, what forest gate? I don't remember seeing yes. a... The forest gate is where you came in from, so... Is the other, like, hub world? Oh, is that over there? Probably. Oh, some old lady. Yeah, there he is. Beyond no, the gate. behind him. Oh, so this is the forest gate. <laughs> yeah. You drive away those horrible things. Oh. Okay, so now it's got a Lord of cut load of cutscene to tell me that I need to mm -hmm. destroy the enemies, and then it's gonna load the load the You're actual learning. level. Oh, no, surprisingly not. It's possible that say that Silver and Shadow's campaigns are more well put together and Sonic was like kind of last minute. Weirdly enough. They, because they probably got like, oh god, this is awful, we need to edit things and then made it worse. Mm -hmm. But they just didn't like the direction it was going. I would assume that the, that would be the thing that you would want like Sonic's campaigns to be like the best because that is he is the title character <laughs> we like waiting So many enemies, Jesus Christ. So much physics. Yeah, it's like if your game can run like this, just remove enemies. I get that they don't they didn't have time to edit all this shit. It's just like they were probably planning on fixing all of this. And then Sega was like, no, we we gotta ship it. It's a two-year anniversary of this. The the nano of what the fuck is that kilometer one? <laughs> uh, happy, what the fuck is a kilometer? That's our Chiquita. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Just making sad noises. Oh, yeah, what Cody said is important. Like, if you can seem to catch stuff with silver, like, he can only grab stuff that is in front of him. He has, like, a cone of vision. Ah. Uh.
Amy, please. Yeah, you need to be able to put this game on Twitch. I know. Stop, stop your moaning. Loading. Loading. <laughs> oh god, that's creepy. Oh god, no. Why? What am I doing? I can smell Sonic's stick from a mile away. Sorry. As soon as I find Sonic, I'll help you find who you're looking for, Silver. <laughs> this looks so beautiful. What? You mean desert? Everything is so great here, isn't it? The sky is gorgeous and everyone's happy. Huh? What other people are you talking about? Let's go. The townspeople. We find who you're looking for. Wow, everything's so beautiful when it's not just on fire. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, laughs> the desert is beautiful. It's not on fire. I mean, that is kind of like the message it's going for. It's not a possible connected world. Even the desert has beauty. Just you what Iblis trigger. Also, this is the worst stage in the game. Uh -oh. <laughs> so the thing is like there's a puzzle at the end that is like absolutely nightmarish and it can take you up to 30 minutes to complete. So don't don't worry about it. I think there's a way to skip it somehow if you click through walls. Cody might have it. Because it is bullshit. Uh that's, there's no way, there's no better way to de describe it. That one just ricocheted off of him. The, the problem with silver is that the stuff that you that you grab can collide with each other. So as you throw things, it's just gonna bounce off of stuff that you're already grabbing. That's just small. You can really see. Oh, more enemies. Hooray. I guess you really can't say you've beaten this game unless you've beaten Dusty Desert on Silver the proper way. Not without cheating. Not, or not with cheating, rather. I have to go through. Uh, you have to go through it at least once. Okay. Nine. My tens. Oh, nine. I can't pick these things up. No. You can only slap them. Whoops. Oh, that's unfortunate. Just you wait, Iblis Trigger. So I believe you need to knock one of these balls into each one of the holes, or at least one in one hole. And that is using the pimp slap. Oh, or these. 
Oh. Oh, oh more of them spawn. Okay, yeah, the pimp slap. Yes, yeah, so I think you need more on each. Oh, they share they shared the countdown? That's weird. Apparently I can like do it like with so many hits. Yeah. So that's the final puzzle in the stage. You have to roll a ball like this one or a long corridor that has holes on the way, so you have to avoid it falling into the holes and just put it in a specific hole in particular at the end of the corridor. But the way you like you have to slap the ball and aim it and everything is like, oh my god. This is agony. Oh, so they can go into any hole, okay. So you just have to knock them into one. Just go to whichever is closest. I did, they... Nothing happens. Because now you only have three balls uh, that spawned, so I presume like, you have to get all of them into the holes. Oh. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, just let it roll. Don't hit it, because it's gonna explode. There you go. Yes. Oh, okay. It's a shame because I don't mind the mechanic of the ball, like knocking it over and stuff, but the way that corridor works is just like... It's too tight, like you have you have exactly nine moves. Haha, <laughs> that's neat. I think you just um, oh. jump onto the platforms themselves. Oh. There should be a switch somewhere. Oh no. No. But this is instantly kill you. That's nice. That is surprisingly lenient of them. Yeah, there were, there would have been like a death ball at the end of that. I can't expect the quicksand to just be like a kill plane. That works. I just get someone with a medal. Some of the waves are higher. Careful. Yeah. yeah, it's just pushing through. <laughs> oh man, this game's whack. It's like one, two, so every third one. Yeah, that looks bigger. Aha. Ha! 
<laughs> I love the random spike balls out of nowhere. Yeah, it's just plain chaos. <laughs> chaos, you say? Yep. Is that, that supposed to be like a shield magnet or something? No, that's um, it refuels your energy. I'm pretty sure. Amy's time to, sh to shine. To she does not shine. She's the oh. worst character. <laughs> she has a double jump. Maybe a triple jump even. No, it's just double. Oops, that's an instant kill. Oh, so that is an instant kill. That is... Oh, wow. You wait, Iblis trigger. Oh, the entire stage. Yep. Not a fucking checkpoint, but great. Oops. No! Just you wait, Iblis Trigger. <laughs> that, uh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> yep. You don't even have to hit that one, just if you let them roll naturally, some of them just fall into it. Don't, you don't have physical collision with them, but you cannot push them with your body. I think it's best if you go to the one to the to the right side here, yeah. or to the left side. Whoops. <laughs> it's unfortunate. What is this Ian? What are you sending me? Oh no. I kinda like this. <laughs> so Flynn is uh 
That's Alan from Smiling Friends. That's cute. Oh. I do like me some Smiling Friends. That show is fucking hilarious. Attempt number two. <laughs> He's dead. Yep. I knew it. I'm like, this is going to be a checkpoint right there. Yeah. When you don't want to be discovered. Button, she could turn invisible? Yes, but that means she's also invisible to you. <laughs> she also, if you press square, you have a hammer attack. It has minus five range. You have to be like in melee range. So basically, the stealth is kind of useless, I think. Yeah, what's the point of it? Amy's just weird. I don't know why she can turn invisible in this game. It comes out of nowhere. What the hell was no. that? Did you kill Silver? Why'd you do that? <laughs> While jumping, pressing the X button again will allow you to perform a double jump. Oh God, it has awful like momentum. Yeah, honestly, sometimes even just a normal jump is better. Because it's more normal. Because it's purely vertical. Her range sucks, her double jump sucks, her invisibility sucks. Yeah. Yeah, and it just wears off. I mean, that part's fine. I think it makes sense. But why can she go invisible to begin with? I mean, Cody, if you can see her shadow, you would not be able to see her at all. <laughs> wow, everyone's nothing during this stream. The two FPS gaming. Yep. Oh, come on. It can do it. It can do it. I think if you break the boxes, there's a spring in there. No, I think I'm or I guess it means you just double jump here. Yeah. It is. It does go very high up, but. Look at that. Oh, no, it's this way. Oh, this just seems to be one hit. Uh, some enemies I think require more. It's, the problem is that it's, it stops you down on your tracks. It's like mainly range, like you have to be touching the enemy almost. Which in a game with contact damage means you get stuff like that. You try to attack an enemy and you just get hit instead. But honestly, that has happened with almost every character so far, so I guess it's not that new. Come on! Ah! Ooh, almost. Okay. 
Okay. Guarding that door. Let's start by getting rid of them. Ha! 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 You can pick them up. Yeah, there you go. Because picking up an enemy is an instant kill. Like, whether you drop them or throw them, if that enemy gets stunned, you can just pick them up and they will kill them immediately. I think this one's more straightforward. There's the big wave. There's a switch somewhere. So there you go. I am the switch. The enemy just spawned it on me. It spawned on you. <laughs> well, I guess that's done. Oh, this is it. Whoops. <laughs> Instant fail. Yeah, you have to make it to the end of the hallway. It's an, uh, an L-shaped hallway. So I guess the lock will open if I put this ball put in the balls in the halls, I guess. Oh, there it is. Just stop it once to get it started. Just follow it for a bit. Yeah, the vase for whatever reason, because it, it's when you hit it, it decreases by one. But I think the vase has like an active hitbox all the time, so it just goes down very fast. Actually, this no, don't touch it yet. This is actually going rather well. Just make sure it doesn't fall into that hole. Okay. Is it gonna bounce off? 
Yes. Oh, that's a problem. You can grab the boxes, but I think if they hit the ball, it's gonna take down the counter. It's actually going really well, don't touch it. Just follow it, careful. To the right now, and that's the end of the hallway, so you might actually make it on the first try if you're lucky. Oh yeah, you can make it stronger, I forgot about that. Slightly. Oh, can you make it? Wow. Okay, don't uh, don't touch it. I think it's gonna fall into it because it has some pull. You, please bounce back. Please. No. Nope. Because it's gonna go down to zero. It's already at zero, actually. Oh, that's. Yep, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh come on, dude! I was really impressed. That's that like failure, really cool. actually. Yeah, but the physics don't make sense, that's the problem, like... This legitimately took me like 30 plus minutes the first time, like, this is infuriating. I <gasps> oh, think no. I could do it with one? Can you move the box while you're like levitating it? Yeah. Is that you pushing it into the wall? Oh! Yeah, oh, I okay, can... I thought it was just... Oh, so maybe don't do that because it's making them shimmer, shimmy like that. Like when they're flush to the wall, because then it rotates and like it. Yeah, like that. Oh, there you go. Ta-da! Because they were rotating when they when you push them in. They like... Well, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. <laughs> <laughs> It actually took uh, about 30 minutes, just like the puzzle. <laughs> that took too long. Yeah, I don't know how the hell you're supposed to even control your time in that. <laughs> in getting something like that. Save data, yes please. So brave of you to, to to love this character, make your OC based on him. I know. I can't believe <laughs> he was just misunderstood. Wait, what so you guys just went to and tunnel was like, well, he wasn't there. Oh well. I've been looking for you. <laughs> you were the ablest trigger. Your actions condemn us all. Who are you? My name is Silver. For the future of the world, I will destroy you. So he just ends up shifting his focus from a uh, from killing Sonic to saving the princess. Is mm -hmm. sort of what happens. Doesn't look like you're here to talk. But why? Because the crystal told him so. Beat Sonic. Wait, does that mean I get to just pick him up and fling him? No, you can pick him up directly. You have to th toss stuff at him. It's no use. Here I come. Gotcha. Here I come. What? <laughs> you just beat the pulp out of him. Looks hey, like canonically, Silver is probably like the strongest. I guess maybe Shadow is the only one who's stronger than Silver, but like canonically Silver is just stupidly powerful compared to Sonic. Yes, it's been four hours.
Yeah, oh, and that, that whole segment just took 30 minutes, so... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll end it here. We don't want to yeah. write too long. After that... After that battle. That hard war battle. I know. With the wall, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> not with Sonic. The, the battle with Sonic was not hard work. With that wall. <laughs> Is this a joke? How could someone like you have <laughs> the destruction of our world? What do you mean? It doesn't matter. For the sake of the future, the English trigger must be destroyed. Ah! Elise? Wait! <sighs> Don't you dare turn your back on me! It's time I finally put an end to this. Stop! Amy? Get out of my way, Amy. This is my mission. Absolutely <laughs> not. Thanks, Amy. I appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> Leave it to me. Oh, is this an Amy boss fight now? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Was Sonic? Were you planning to kill him? Doesn't everyone plan to kill him? He's responsible for destroying my world. That's crazy. Sonic would never do that. But it's true. In the near future, his actions will cause the devastation of my Isn't world. Isn't that this world so too? I don't believe it. Even if that was true, <laughs> if I had to choose between the world and Sonic. Wow. <laughs> Fuck you, Silver. <laughs> world Destruction Sonic. Uh, well, bye, world. I'm sticking with my boyfriend. Not Slash even not her boyfriend. Bo boyfriend. It's just a weird fanaticism. Crush. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. I like this scene. So this is where you are. I've been looking for you. What's wrong? Well, uh, Blaze? To kill someone to save the world. Is that really the right thing to do? You're so naive. Whether it's right or wrong, I can't really say. But what we do know is... If we don't take this chance... How naive? Well, exactly I don't know. As it is. Since he's after Dr. Eggman, let's sneak into the man's base. Maybe we'll learn something well, new. So... Also, they don't know who Eggman is. <laughs> well, yeah, I assume they only well, know unless... that because, well, he must be after that unless person he... that they're well, he, chasing. I mean, like, he probably has, like, records in the future. Well... Considering how much chaos he has. So, so is that why they don't ever kill Eggman? It's like, well, Eggman, you keep destroying our world or keep, like, nearly conquering it. We're just gonna let you go. That's a big uh, plot point in the comics. It's like, it's like just wonky like money. He's like, I'm giving you the chance to like be be yourself, be free, and choose what you're doing. But like, <laughs> you not... fool! Uh, yeah, because he get, he turns like good in the comics, and it's like, sorry, that kind of kind of chills out with him for a bit. It's like, oh, this is fine. They become best friends and go out to play tennis and mini golf yeah. and They go, go to the Olympics together and they meet Mario. Shock bracelet. Shock bracelet. I think that's the particular one. Yeah. It's you want to get that. Up. Save the game just... again. Yeah. All right. Eggman the evil troll. <laughs> He just needs a little love. I can I can so, fix him. 
So you jump and attack. It's gonna he's he's gonna do like a stomp move, but he slaps the ground. And that's tons enemies. Shoot. It's really small range, but it stuns enemies, which means you can grab them, which means you can insta kill them. Oh. <laughs> so I can I can useful. fix Eggman. I can fix them. Oh my god. <laughs> So all you need Guess to you do is just to find a find him a, a better distraction that would keep him from wanting to rule the world. Do you guys don't understand how much Eggman Porn Chapel has been DMing me? It's like insane. <laughs> he has a whole stash. Like, oh my god. That's like, oh, doesn't he look sexy here? I mean, oh, I yeah. like fat guys, but I don't like circles. <laughs> oh yeah, just, uh, oh, yeah, give me those implants, daddy. <laughs> Those implants. Oh yeah, because he turns you he into would... a robot. Yeah, he, I was gonna say he would like mutilate you and like replace the body parts with implants. <laughs> he pull a he pull a chunter on you and then just give you mechanical legs. <laughs> just like the Star Fox characters. <laughs> so Star Fox happened in the bad timeline in the Echo universe where Chase loses his legs. <laughs> oh, no. that, that is now canon. I've been doing what? <laughs> it was yeah. only it was only one art pack. Uh, but it was one art pack too many. <laughs> I have not recovered. It was it was even just the page of it. It was didn't even have the the whole thing. Uh, Are there uh, actually any other Star Fox characters? Not that um, I know of. I'm thinking like cat was a cat. Bill is a dog. What like, other side characters are there in like the, the other? The cancelled game, I mean had like two more squad mates. Mew I think there were dogs. Is a lynx and the other one is a lynx. Me and Faye. Uh no, I don't no, think I don't think there is. Uh, the DS game had more characters, but I think it was like Mostly like female versions of characters that already exist. So they had like a wife for Sleepy Toad. A wife. Um, yeah, Sleepy Toad actually gets married and has children in that game. It was really funny. <laughs> oh, actually, so does Fox. So that game is kind of like a VN where it has different endings. And in one of the endings, Fox ends up with Crystal and they have a kid uh, named Marcus, which Wait, is literally they this really color end up of together? Fox. <laughs> no, canonically they're not together. She just joins Sleepy the team. Is, Sleepy's old. Sleepy's like a... He's like an actual engineer. He's just clumsy. Uh, Peppy? I don't know if Peppy's dead in the DS one. He might be, but I mean, I might be misremembering too. Yeah, but he speaks like a five-year-old, but he's, he's just like supposed to be the, the clumsy one of the team, you know, like the pathetic loser. But uh, that's just like a Japanese trope. Like he's supposed to be an adult. They're, they're, like, they're in the military, like... Well, no, they're not in the military, they're like, uh... Bounty Hunters. Yeah, they're they're mercenaries. Yeah, most, most of the characters in Star Fox are relatively old for, like, video game character standards. Like, Fox is the youngest of the team. Yeah, they're mercs. Like, Fox is the youngest, and I think he's like 20, 20-something. 20 Looking at their idle animations. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't. Let's see what it looks like. Does he smoke some wheat? No, oh, just uh, adjusting. Let's see. What the fuck? What's that sassy pose, Silver? It's stretching. Stretching his hips. He's mm -hmm. putting on the gloves a little tighter. And then he's just kind of like, mm hmm. Yeah, the, the head bob. Yeah, just start cycling through the three. Well, I think we can call it here. You can cut most of that <laughs> three last minutes there. Yeah, I probably can. <laughs> yeah, next time. Well, well, I think Silver's campaign is not as long as Sonic, so this might be like a two stream campaign. Because I think he has like five stages, maybe? 
depending on how long it it takes us. Then we got yeah. no. That's the that's the worst stage because of like the the puzzle at the end. The other stages are not that bad. Yeah, that temple just... that temple level was act actually pretty good until you got to that. Yeah. And all right. Have a good night, everyone. This was fun. Good night. <laughs>